Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new video today So today is gonna be a great day because you know why because I finally get to go and show you guys the main character And the seven contestants of this bachelor challenge because I honestly am so happy right now Because I literally have been waiting a month an entire month for you guys to sh to, So I can show you guys all the sims of this challenge I am honestly pumped for this challenge because it's a new thing that I'm trying it's a new thing that I've never thought I expected to try to do in my entire like Sims career, I would say. And plus, it was created by my friend Jen, ex Urban Sims X on YouTube, who is actually the creator of the Bachelor and the Bachelor Ed Challenge. So, if you want to check out those rules of the challenge and her channel, I will link them down below in the description at the very top. So, anyway, if you're new to my channel, I am Spring Sims, also known as Steven. I do a whole heaps of gameplay along with this, like, just mostly just Sims. I do builds, I do creative sims, I do let's plays, I do room builds, I do a lot of things around the sims, ranging from the sims 1 through 4 and other side projects around the sims as well. So let's hop into this video. So I have my first sim right here, the creator, well the, the main character of this challenge, hmm, Silas Harwood. And let me tell you, he is probably by far the best male sim I've ever created in my entire lifetime because like seriously, how did this happen? Where did he come from? What is going on with my life? I don't understand. But he actually has a history with, with this tattoo right here, which is actually, I'm going to get actually a little bit into. And he has some this skin discoloration, and he's just a well-around good sim in my opinion. So for his traits, he is, a, he wants to have the soulmate aspect, he wants to find a soulmate, the one. He is athletic, he is not, he's not a loner, because he's a music lover. And he is also a romantic, so that is a pretty good thing. I really do like that, and I think that's kind of fun, you know? You know, spice up the let's play a little bit. And then I have my other seven sims that I'll be showcasing throughout this entire video. So I'm going to be basically showcasing the sims that I created, well, the sims that you guys created with their storylines and why I chose them, and along with Silas' storyline as well, and kind of just tell it as a whole in one entire video, because I feel like that's a little bit more personal instead of doing separate videos, and I just didn't want that, and I didn't have time. So... On that note, I couldn't pick everyone. I wish I could pick every single sim, but it's something that I wanted to really choose and have a little bit of a sit down. So what I did is I really sat down on my computer and read everyone's submissions and I read everyone's storyline and just see how it would really connect and how it really connect with, you know, Silas and what his values and what his, what he's looking in for of a, you know, a soulmate to fill that hole. So for Silas Harwood, he's a 30 year old male having to live in the fact that he's always going to be alone. Like he, he like, he's 30 years old and he thought, you know what? My life is over. I'm going to be forever alone. I don't know how to live with my life anymore. But anyway, so it says growing up without a, with a dad and having his mother by his side. And that wasn't really like his, since he like his, his dad never was in his life when he was like, he left when he was two and not having his dad for that long really, really made him, you know, a little bit different. And now that his mother is by his side, he was, you know, he felt comfort. He, he felt love for the past, like, you know, some odd years. And it's been a long time. It's, well, actually, no, the past 28 years. He's, tw he's 30 right now. For the past 28, well, the, actually, in the past 30 years, he has been loved. And it's really, really nice that he has a mother who really, really cared about him. But it was not until recently when his mother passed away, about a couple years ago. Well, about a couple months ago, let's say that. A couple months ago. So now he's really, really just like searching for the one to really fill that hole in his heart that his mother used to fill. So who will be chosen? Like really, who will be chosen to fill that hole in his heart that he will, like his mother used to fill up? Because he wants to find that one person that he can really care for, the one the person that he can really connect with the most. And that's what Silas is really looking for in a woman and, and a lover, in my opinion. And I really want him to be happy. I really made his storyline somewhat personal. Well, not really personal, because I am not 30 years old. I am not alone. Sometimes I am. I am hashtag forever alone. <laughs> not really, no. But no, seriously, I feel like the his storyline really goes hand in hand with what I envisioned his life would be in the near future at the very end of the series. So I really think that you guys submitting the Sims for him and coming up with storylines really, really made it, really, really made it better for me and also as well him. So I thank you so much for submitting Sims for this challenge. So I'm going to go and hop right into this first mission. So the first thing that we actually have is we have Val Cortez. So the first thing that we have right here is Val Cortez, of course. And she was created by Retro Chick 4. So for Val's storyline, it was a little bit different than what I was seeing here. When I read it, I was kind of spectacle a little bit. But I also kind of understood a little bit because, you know, she had, she had, was living in, in Venezuela 
She had a mother, five siblings, and her abuela. And so it was seven sims living in that one small home, but recently being evicted really put a damper on their financial issues because they were having some struggling with like money and trying to pay the rent or pay, or pay the mortgage or whatever they had to do to live their life. And now that Val is, she moved to Sam Ashuna to find a job, trying to find some way to support herself and eventually to, you know, have her whole family move in with her permanently. So that's why she's going to be on the, that's why she is going to be on The Bachelor, trying to find that one person to really connect with and find love, but also move in her family to live with her permanently. And I can under, I can really understand that. And the creator of this sim actually created her family, which I honestly am so happy about. So what I'm going to do, if she's not chosen or, well, actually what you guys have to do, you guys have to choose if she will be gone or leaving. Because that's what this whole series is all about, voting. Like the, if you're not, if you have not watched The Bachelor on, on TV, like the vote of the, the viewers have to vote who gets taken off the show. So that's the whole challenge about, that's what it's all about, voting who gets, who leaves and who stays. So the good part about this, if she leaves, I will put her family into the save file and I will, you know, I will play around with her family and kind of connect with them and you know what I want to do. And I want her to be successful enough. I can see her being a very, very successful sim. So for her aspiration, she has a big family aspiration. She's family oriented. She's a good sim and she also is very, very ambitious. So that is really, really good for her. For the next one I actually have is Jackie Carasto, Cast Castro, and she was created by The Little Mick. So being a 19 year old with Jackie, she recently moved out of her parents trying to move in with her ex-boyfriend, which didn't make any sense to me because like she moved out of her parents' house, but moved in with her ex-boyfriend. Didn't understand at all, but I like the storyline, but it says, but eager, she's very, very eager to, to move to med, to med school, but her dreams were crushed when she found out she was pregnant with twins, not ready to, for that responsibility. Her, her ex left. Jackie's on her own now, tirelessly working full time, trying to take care of herself and her kids, Jackson and Alice. And Jackie's hope, her hopes to being on The Bachelor will bring her some sustainability and, and love into her life. And so what I was thinking is that with that being said, Jackie, if she gets taken off, I will put her kids in this in the safe out and again, play with the life and go around. And I want to I want Silas to connect with each and every contestant, even though I don't think that's part of the rules. But after The Bachelor, I want them, I want him to connect with The Sims. Because I, I love connecting with The Sims, in my opinion. That gives me more of a personal feel and more of a, you know, uh, you know, a bit of connection. So, that's her. Her her aspiration is a big family, big, no, successful lineage. She's cheerful, she's a goofball, but she's also family oriented. That is pretty good for me there. For the next one that I actually, actually picked was the single mom, but her name is actually Sophia Best, um, Beckwith. She was created by Always Simming. So it says, meet Sophia and her daughter Tiffany. She may look like the girl next door, perfect marriage material, but something's off. Is she here for the right reasons? Why is she so different from the camera? The other girls don't like her and they try to warn him, but how can such a pretty face be so cruel? Seriously, I can understand. Like, how, like, how does this, look, this pretty face right here can be so cruel. I don't understand how. Sophia, why are you so cruel? I don't understand. But her aspiration is the big family aspiration. She is romantic. She is neat. And she also hates children. How lovely. What the perfect wife should be that hates children. I love it. But no, I really think that she can be like, you know, a personal maid or the person who cleans around the house every now and then. And I, I think that's been a, a good thing for her. So since her daughter's not in the in this let's play, I was thinking that you know her mother, since she's gonna be on, since Sophia's gonna be on the Bachelor, her daughter Tiffany will move in with her her grandma, which is Sophia's mom, for the time being while she's on the Bachelor and so on and so forth. So after that, so for the next sim I actually picked was dun, 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 was Claire Paris, and she was created by Dynamic Sims on the gallery. So it says Claire was, uh, you know, a typical girl who grew up with her dad, never really was raised to be afraid with bugs and stuff. But it wasn't until that, during that time where, you know, you're, you're old enough, like you're around 20 something or 25, I would say. And it was during that time where her father really sat down with her saying, you know, you know, Carly, I, I really want grandkids. And I like, when he, like she asked him, she asked him, no, he asked him, he asked her. When are you going to settle down? When are you going to find a man to make a family? And, you know, and hopefully this this challenge will change her life for the better. And her father will have the life as a grandfather that he, he, he always wanted. And so I feel like that with that being said, it will be kind of good for him and her if she wins. So 
again you guys vote if she stays or off when i get to that portion of the series when it, the voting process starts for the next thing that i actually created was actually tasha davis so tasha, tasha davis was created by ty no ty ibeck i think i would say the name i couldn't pronounce the name to save my life but her aspirations are master chef and she is self-assured she is perfectionist and she is well as outgoing and i feel with the outgoing trait she will really connect with the other the other contestants in the household become their friends because they know them a little better and you know get on the good side not their bad side like some other people you know but she's also self-assured that's pretty good for her and she could be, she'll be the cook of the the household who cooks all the meals and does everything for the cooking the, the dinner or whatever and stuff like that so it says tasha was was determined to make her dreams come her being a chef come true for the most of her life she only focused on cooking and developing her craft as a result, her dating life was put on a back burner. Now she's begun to see that creating a cake is no fun without someone to share it with. And she's now finally to give her love a chance and risk, risk it all. I feel like she's going to be on The Bachelor, but she's going to try and focus on being on The Bachelor, find love, but also really develop her craft and be very, very successful. If, it does, like, if, she, does, if she does not win, she has something to fall back on. And that's something that I really like in someone who has a solid plan to fall back on. Just like just like Jackie, she wants to be going to med school and take care of her family and become a very successful doctor one day. And that she has a she has a plan. She definitely has a plan. So does so does Tasha. So that really makes my day that people have a plan in their life to really set back on if something doesn't work out. And that's and that's something that's really, really good. So for the next thing that I actually picked for this series was was Alana Cho. So Alana Cho is, you know, a different sim. She came from, I guess you would say, Japan. I'm gonna go with that. Don't want to be defensive, but she came from Japan, recently moved to America, and she wanted to know she saw this show on 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 she saw this ad. Cause what Silas did was he he is so sketchy. No, he's not sketchy. He did this so crazy thing that he put ads online saying, hey guys, I'm doing this I'm I'm a bachelor looking for love, blah blah blah, you know the deal bachelor bachelor looking for love have a lot of money so on and so forth and i'm like okay so she saw this ad and she's looking for love too so it says alana cho is an independent woman who is who is generous and polite but she wants to break out in her shell could it be the back could it be could it be the bachelor losing her rotten nuts so for alana her storyline is a little bit brief it's a little bit short but that being said, she came from Japan around being, she was, Alana was 23 years old. She was like, you know what? I want to leave this country. I want to, I want to open my horizon. I want to get out of my shell. I want to get out of this place because I've been here for so long and I don't know how to leave. But she's like, she doesn't know how to say to her parents that, okay, mom and dad, I can't live here anymore. I want to really explore the world. I want to go to America, live the American dream with a white picket fence, with a husband and kids, and and just be the perfect housewife and, and everything like that. So that's what she did. She moved to America to be on The Bachelor, just The Bachelor, and see if she's going to work really, really hard to push forward, be the kindest person known to man, make friends, be very, very romantic when it comes to follow, the, be romantic when it when she has to be, and also be that person who is not a pushover or who's not going to be that person who's going to be like you know that overprotecting jealousy type of person so she has a really good personality in my opinion so her personality is she has an she has a nerve brain aspiration so she's very smart she is self-assured she's very very confident when she when she knows what she wants she is a geek but she also she's also very outgoing so that really makes her storyline really stand out to me so i kind of developed that storyline on the, on the whim as I was li literally talking. So again, she moved from Japan. She moved from Japan to America to be on The Bachelor to really sustain, like be that perfect, live that American dream with a bite, pick a fence, and have wife and kids and be a stay at home mom, be the perfect wife. The the basis of be the perfect trophy wife in my opinion. So that that is Alana Cho for you. So there she is. For the last thing that I actually chose for this challenge and the very end is actually hmm, oh was my friend Chrissy York. So she, her name is Charlotte Bryson. So Charlotte Bryson is by far a pretty sim. I love her personality, but she is also gloomy. So I guess whenever she's feeling low, feeling a little bit sad, she can kind of put a damper on someone's mood. And I feel like that will kind of affect Silas, but also affect some other sims. But I don't know. It might, it may or may not be really effective, but that is one of her 
fatal flaws, become gloomy, and kind of be sad at, at certain times when she's not really being creative. Well, Shane melodically thought she the Sims and went into all sad and gained their creative skill. Cool, cool, cool. But her aspiration is she wants to find the one. She's gloomy, she is good, and she is as well as romantic. So for Charlotte, it says Charlotte has suffered quite a few losses in her life. She lost both of her parents at a very young age. Her first husband died in a car crash three years ago. And she's been she's been through a tough a few bouts of depression since then, but now she's in a better place and then now she's in a better place than she ever has been before. Her friends finally convinced her to put herself out there again, go for the Bachelor Bees to see if she can can't find love again. And I really feel that really goes hand in hand together because with Silas, he never really had a father in his life. He never really had a father figure in his life to really become a man. So he really had to grow up on his own and just find out on his own how to be the perfect person. He never really found love. So that being said, his father left at age of two. His mother died from some known disease, which is really, really sad. So he basically had, let's say he, his, both of his parents died and that kind of, he kind of relates to Charlotte. And with that, and he had a girlfriend back in like college years, but they were, they were very, very serious at the time, but things got too complicated and they were about to get married, but something came up and then they ended up being divorced. And that took it, well, Silas was married at the time. Well, he, Silas got married to his high school sweetheart. They fell in love, but then she died. And that was really, honestly, first his, he had no father, then his girlfriend died from like a car crash as well which is very very serious and then his mother died from a disease seriously aren't charlotte and Silas like basically the same person but honestly i feel like there's something really different but i don't know so anyway you guys will find out about more of this challenge and more of the sims as we play along in this challenge for who knows how long but seriously i am so so happy and hopefully you guys really understood uh, what i was trying to portray with ed which each and every sim that i picked and if you have if your sims was not picked don't don't fret don't fret i will be doing a season two of this challenge for sure because i really think that will I, I really want to do more of these challenges on my channel and i really want you guys to be more involved with all my let's plays and just the fun of it as well because i think that with you guys, with your guys' help and your guys' sims, it really will develop a storyline that I think that will be very, very beneficial and very, very developed and all around fun. So again, seriously, I highly recommend you guys check out this challenge. Link down below to the to Jen's website for the challenge rules along with her channel and season one of The Bachelor and season one of The Bachelor on her channel. So again, check her out. She's pretty good. She's a great story great storyteller. I need that book, Jen. Thank you very much for that book. <laughs> Not really though, but again, make that book, please. Thank you very much, but still, either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Let me know anything down in the comments below as always. Again, again, tell me what you guys think about the whole storyline, the whole Sims about their storylines, their backstories and everything like that. And just again, give me feedback. I really, really encourage you guys to give me feedback about this challenge and everything. I really just, mm, I just love the challenge a lot. So again, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all you guys, all your guys' support. Jen, thank you for your support as well and your friendship and this challenge as well. So I highly, highly just appreciate you so much. So again, <laughs> I'm so emotional. I'm so crazy, but still. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.